You've probably heard of the Itaipu Dam. That massive wall of concrete straddling the border between Brazil and Paraguay for a long time. It was the most powerful hydroelectric plant on Earth, and it's still a true giant of engineering. But behind the impressive stats and the sheer scale of this project lies a much darker story. One filled with controversy, loss, and a deal that some call one of the most unfair in modern history. Before we get into the scandalous treaty, let's talk about what was lost when the dam's reservoir was filled in the early 80s. Imagine the world's largest waterfall by volume, not Niagara, not Victoria, but the Guaira Falls. Also known as the Seven Falls, this natural wonder, a series of 18 massive waterfalls thundering through a narrow canyon, was completely submerged, it's gone forever, drowned to generate electricity. Along with the falls, over 1,300 square kilometers of precious Atlantic rainforest were flooded, wiping out habitats and leading to species extinction, the human cost was devastating too. Around 40,000 people, mostly Paraguayan farmers and indigenous Guarani communities, were forcibly removed from their ancestral lands. The compensation they received was minimal, and many were forced into poverty and urban slums. Their way of life destroyed. But the real gut punch for Paraguay came from the 1973 Treaty of Itaipu. The dam is a 50-50 to 50 partnership, so Paraguay owns half the energy it produces. But the treaty signed when Paraguay was under a brutal dictatorship and Brazil was a military regime, forced Paraguay to sell almost all of its share to Brazil, and not at market price, but at a fixed, ridiculously low-cost price, for 50 years, from 1973 until 2023. Brazil got incredibly cheap electricity from Paraguay's half, which it then resold for massive profits. Meanwhile, Paraguay, one of South America's poorest countries, lost out on billions of dollars in potential revenue, it was essentially a 50-year energy heist, locked in by a treaty. That 50-year period just ended in 2023, and as you can imagine, the renegotiations have been intense. Paraguay is finally demanding a fair market price for its energy, while Brazil has resisted. Even threatening to cut supply, the whole project was also plagued by corruption from the start. The initial loans ballooned into a massive debt of over $20 billion that burdened both countries for decades, with widespread accusations of kickbacks and cronyism. So while a tapu is often celebrated as a marvel of modern engineering, it's crucial to remember the cost. It was built on drowned waterfalls, displaced communities, and a profoundly unjust treaty. That left one nation powerless, while its neighbor reaped the rewards. It stands today not just as a power plant, but as a monument to a deeply troubled history. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into the stories behind the headlines.